What was it like playing at, uh, I mean, past Happy School for BYU, obviously, the names at quarterback, the position that you played, obviously, uh, endless with how good they turned out to be in college and also a lot of the guys in the NFL as well. Must have been cool to, to go there knowing that you're going to throw 50, 60 times a game. Yeah, it really was. It was a, it's, BYU is a great program. It's, it's gotten even better now that Coach Mendenhall is here. Uh, you know, Lavelle Edwards really set uh, the precedence. Um, you know, when he came in, and there was a long line, a long tradition of, of, of great quarterbacks, and, and it seems like they've got that going again right now with Coach Mendenhall. And definitely headed in the right direction. I think they, they uh, you know, it's a little bit tricky. Recruiting is a little bit tough, um, especially with our, that honor code. Um, but they still do a great job. of always, always a top 25 program, and, and uh, fun to watch, fun to go back and, and see them play. Well, the honor code has come up a couple times this year in the offseason with, um, with Unga no longer going to be with the team next year. I don't know if you heard about that story mm -hmm. or not, but obviously with his girlfriend playing for the Hoops team. And now uh, for the basketball side as well, Michael Lloyd from right here in Las Vegas, he's not coming back next year either. So it's something to take quite seriously. But as a, as a student athlete going up there, you know what the, what the deal is, so you have to abide by the system. Yeah, you do. And, and it's just that, like you just said, you know it going into it. You know when you're, when you're going to BYU, it's a different place. It's not a, it's not a common university. Uh, you're not going to have your the, the party experience that yeah. you have at other schools. So, um, you know, with that, you know, comes discipline. And I think, you know, I, I, I you know, I'm for the honor code, um, and it's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. But you know, like I said, it's it's kind of a, it, it's rough because you're you're going to miss out on some athletes that uh, would have come there had you not uh, had the honor code in place. So, um, but it's a different university. You know, it's BYU. It's a church school, and and uh, it is what it is. <laughs> Does it drive you nuts, by the way, the uh, the lack of respect the conference still gets nationally? I mean, the fact that the, the, the conference does not get an automatic bid to the BCS just makes me want to pull my hair out every year. Oh, I know. So I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. The, the you know, TCU, Utah, BYU every single year, could, I, I think, could compete with anybody. Uh, and it's, it's unfortunate they don't get the chance to. Hopefully they'll do something about it here in the near future. I haven't really been following what's been going on as far as, far as the BCS goes. It looks like it's here to stay. Um, and uh, you know we'll see what happens here with the Mountain West and getting an automatic bid. What is what is going on with that, by the way? They don't have one as of right now. They're yeah. trying to expand. Of course, Big Ten's going to try to expand to maybe I've heard what 16 teams up to 20 teams, stuff like this. And then that's going to cause this uh, effect where the Big East will have to expand. The Big 12 is going to have to relocate, and the Pac-10 is going to pull teams from here and there. So it's just going to have this massive effect from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast if it does happen. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be crazy in college football. Yeah, it's really, to me, it's a shame that the Mountain West doesn't have an automatic bid. It's a tough conference now. So so what's what's the uh, the goal today, obviously, to come out here? A lot of guys, they've been running 40s now for the last hour or so. What, what can you do as a quarterback today with the tryouts and stuff? Coach Fossil's not here, but what can you do to really um, uh, uh, impress people? Yeah, just really as a quarterback, you just have to be accurate, be on time with your throws, have good footwork, and uh, you know, depending on how they, sometimes it, these, it looks like this is really well, well run uh, tryout, but sometimes you have to assert a little bit of leadership out here and, and make sure things are organized, the guys are running routes right. Um, but you know, for me, I'm just focusing on being accurate, throwing on time, and, and having fun. It's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a while for me. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to? Um, you know, I I left uh, Oakland two, 2005 was was the last time with was uh, with Oakland, and then uh, I signed with the Utah Blaze for a short time in 2007, and uh, had some things come up with work, and I had to had to had to leave that situation. I haven't played since. I kept I keep throwing, kind of keep the dream alive, kind of a little bit of Uncle Rico action, I guess, in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, no, but I'm in shape. You know, I still feel like I'm young enough, and I can play. I know that I can still play at a high level and so mm -hmm. you know you only live once and so I'm I'm uh, gonna lay it all lay it all on the line I guess. What are you gonna you lose? Got nothing to lose yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All right well yeah. good luck to you uh, have fun with it today uh, and uh, hopefully we can catch up to you down the line. Thanks appreciate a lot that. appreciate it.